Last week, looked at to prune or not to prune, that is the question. I didn't quite get to finish the importance of showing you unpruned trees because the battery ran out and today is another day. Hope to get a little more in. It's about minus 12 C right now. For those who aren't familiar, our orchard is made up the permaculture orchard part, because we have a, an old organic orchard at the back. Our permaculture orchard is made up of two blocks. We have one block that's uh, 0.4 hectares, which is really one acre here in the front. That's along how the roadway is, is right up there. And so this one has always been pruned. It's 10 years old. The second block is just across from it and about three and a half acres total uh, 17 rows 500 feet long or 150 meters and these trees the nitrogen fixers have been pruned you could see the tops there those of these have been pruned and trained some of the tops have been bent down or, or shaped uh, the nitrogen fixers because they're the largest, but the apple and, and the pear have had minimal pruning, a little bit of training. So really just looking at the comparison, this block here takes a lot less time because we don't prune than the uh, first block. And so we're looking long term to see what's the comparison. And so far it's very promising, the, the amount of work and the return is very good for the amount of work done. So I'm leaning a little more on not pruning or pruning a minimum, uh, just repair pruning if any. And I'll show you a few trees that go along those that line. Some of these trees that have never been pruned. Here's a pin cherry. Never been pruned. In fact, this one is a seedling tree. So not only has it never been pruned, it grew wild on its own. And here, because this post here would have probably had a, a bird sitting on it at one point, dropped a dropping, fell in beside at the edge of the plastic here and the, the seedling grew up. So this tree's never been pruned and there's only one branch that I can see that I would have changed, either prune, but in this case it's such a nice branch, it's just the angle of it is a little steep. So this would be an easy branch to, to take and train like that, open up that angle, and now it's a very nice branch and the whole tree is in a good shape. So sometimes a tree that has never had anything done with very minimal intervention would give you a nice result. Let's go see a few more. Here's a, an apple tree, never been pruned. A little bit of training. Oh, there has been a bit of pruning. Yes, I see one or two corrective branches. Ah, there's things that if I was pruning it actively, I would certainly change. Like this, this strong V branch at the bottom. It's also got double tops and that's like a big no-no two tops so there are things that i i wouldn't let go if i was pruning it but because i'm not and i'm just basically observing how it progresses with time you know for the amount of work it makes a lot of sense so again to prune or not to prune. It's not the first time a tree has grown without pruning. Does it have to be pruned? I used to say yes, they had to be pruned. But even if you don't, it will produce 
The only risk is that the production happens more and more on the ends of the branches, but if you train it a little bit once in a while, bend those branches so that they are in the clear, it may continue to produce well and mostly through the whole branch rather than just on the branch tips. Another one, another tree has not been pruned, I don't think at all. Maybe a little training, I see a branch at the bottom that may have been trained or it may just have grown uh, a little bit flat, but this tree again, a couple of branches that I wouldn't have left if I was pruning it. This one here at the bottom, very upward pointing branch coming up to be a new top. Yeah, terrible. Well, if I was pruning, I wouldn't want to keep it, but because I'm not pruning this tree, it's actually, uh, it's become totally mature. A little bit of three trunks happening there, but I leave it. It becomes bushier. It spreads more than it would if I was pruning it, but it still produces. So to prune or not to prune again in this block, it becomes a question of, I don't prune it and it still gives me good results. So the question and the answer becomes, it really depends on what you're aiming for. We're aiming here to test less work and it certainly is less work, but it isn't necessarily less production.